Hi everyone, welcome to Guitar Guru. This is Ben Jordan and uh, not exactly a guitar oriented thing today, but for anyone who's trying to write and record, especially guitarists, if you're like me, you'll be using a lot of instruments and other plugins and things because you can't actually do those. You just want to focus on your thing. Um, but I use Cakewalk and I've noticed a problem that has plagued me for many years and I finally found out the solution. It's actually very, very simple, but it's what happens when you've got MIDI input or you're pretty sure you've got MIDI input from somewhere, either a virtual controller, an external controller, whatever it is. And uh, no sound is coming from the instrument, even though you know you've connected everything upright. And I've seen that a few other people have had these problems as well. And there's a few possible causes, but no one on the forums ever came back with a clear answer. So I wanted to share my experience and hopefully it helps you just take a couple of minutes. So here on the forums, I can see there's another Ben, Benjamin Huang has complained of the same issue. Relative MIDI noob here, blah, blah, blah. My keyboard is checked in the preferences. Everything's all set up right. He's got Omni enabled, but he's not getting any sound from the instrument track. And uh, for him, it turned out to be a slightly different problem, but the same symptom, playing back from the timeline with MIDI data in the timeline, the instrument will play just fine. But when playing through a keyboard plugged into the computer, no sound. And I had the same problem. I've, I've got a track I'm just starting to work on here. And I'm just using the, the virtual keyboard because I don't have a piano keyboard and I'm not a, I'm a guitarist, not a piano player. And you can see I can hit the keys on my virtual keyboard and they're in uh, Zeta, Zeta plus two. You can see I've got master volume output, but I ain't getting any sound. And what made me really frustrated was I found that if I selected, um, where's my mouse, here, here we go. If I selected addictive drums, it's working. And this, this has happened to me so many times before in the past where I could get MIDI coming through and I just could not figure out why I was getting it sometimes and not others. And uh, these are the areas you need to check. Uh, normally I would do a screen share and zoom in, so forgive me, I'm just working with the new phone here and trying to get everything sorted out. We can see sound input is coming from clips, notes, automation, you can filter things there. And the MIDI input source here is set to all inputs, so any kind of MIDI coming in on any MIDI channel is going to input to this uh, addictive drums instrument. And then I route the output. I've created a bus called drums and we can see that over here it's the one with the pro channel on it so my drums comes through to here this is the drums channel and then that goes to the master channel so that signal follows on to the master channel which then goes to my actual outputs through the interface to the amplifier and speakers and I've got the synths, all the synths, I've, I'm routing to this synth bus. And I do that so that I can control the overall mix of synths and also use a global effects send with a global effects bus with a global reverb. So all that to say, there's a lot of areas where I, I had to look to check that everything was hooked up correctly. And you know what? It turns out it all is. It all is. I, I go here, I've got specifically set in my synth track, the virtual controller is selected. And I know that that's working because that's why I get the VU meter on the actual synth uh, VST instrument lights up. Well, here it is. This is what killed it. I've got my uh, marker at the beginning of the timeline and I had previously enabled a fade in for that instrument. So the volume at that point is zero. So even though I'm not playing this whole track right now, because the timeline marker has, has it set with automation at that location, 
then the volume at that point, this is like keyframes in video editing, which I also do. The volume at that point is zero, and then here it's up a little bit. These are like my keyframes for adjusting the volume as I get into the track. And so sure enough, this is kind of what, it, this is just a generic up right now. So it gets gradually louder. So when I'm at the beginning there, that's the actual problem. If I hit, if I hit my virtual keyboard, I ain't hearing anything, even though the VU meter on the, on the instrument is is lit up. The master volume output from that track is controlled by automation over here, and therefore, if I move along the timeline to where the volume's up to normal playing level, and then play. <laughs> Sure enough, it works. Don't! Hope that helps you and saves you hassle and time and that you don't fall into the same trap as I did, forgetting about automation, also controlling the output of your instruments. Kind of a dumb mistake, but learn. Over and out, this is Guitari Guru.